Unpregnant. This is perhaps one of the most horrifying movie trailers I've ever seen, okay? This is absolutely disgusting. And let me explain why. So the premise of the film, at least the trailer, is that this, you know, teenage girl gets pregnant. She's under 18. And so, you know, she wants to get an abortion. She wants to get out, you know, get rid of her baby. And uh, But her parents are, you know, pr according to the movie, maybe Catholic or something like that. They're really against abortion so she finds this center um, wherever across state lines and enlists one of her lesbian friends to help her have this you know road trip to get this abortion but when you watch the trailer it gives you this like sense that this is gonna be like a funny like you know buddy uh, you know one of those just like buddy movies where you know you're going on a crazy road trip and you meet a lot of crazy people and crazy things happen and it's just you know fun heartwarming and you know a nice ending and there's the mission and all that and I've seen many movies like that and uh, it just blew my mind that they were able to you know fit something so evil like abortion like murdering your own baby into something like this because you think about it like <laughs> you know movies have um stories that they're telling they're telling stories and they're preaching something to you a lot of movies you know they they preach whether subtly or very direct and that's part of the reason that christian movies are often seen as as not very good because they're very preachy but even in the trailer here you can tell you can see what it's preaching to you it's saying look this is actual like freedom this is good that she's going this is funny this is this is this is great actually um and it's giving people a really faulty understanding of what abortion is it's not a happy like thing that you're going to do and and it doesn't really matter at all no it, it's murder and and that and that blows my mind that that you could sit through a movie like this watching them do all this crazy stuff and you know whatever happens I, I don't know the movie's not out yet but it's like oh their car breaks down that's crazy they run into this you know this other guy who helps them get to their destination and the climax of the film is getting the abortion are you kidding me like what a horrific sad film like, wow interesting part is when she actually gets pregnant her boyfriend who you might expect like maybe in real life to be like oh man you know really maybe angry or abusive in some way he actually proposes to her which i thought well that's really interesting so this girl is in like a situation obviously not ideal by any stretch of the imagination right but she's pregnant her bo boyfriend proposes and instead of you know telling her parents all that stuff she basically finds a way to sidetrack all that stuff, enlist her friend, and go on a, uh, like a long adventure with the destination of killing their child. And it's sad. Like, it's sad that, that this is what our culture glorifies. Because to God, like, <laughs> if we're actually going to look at what the Word of God says, and if we haven't totally lost our minds... We find out that all life is valuable. All life is worth protecting. It doesn't matter size, location, level of dependency. It doesn't matter. But the problem is, is actually the world has brought in its own standard of saying, no, it's only life if this. It's only life if this. No, if the person doesn't want to live, then they don't have to live. Then they can, you know, kill themselves, euthanasia. Oh, if, if the mother doesn't want their child to live, then they can you know, kill their child, even up to the moment of birth. And even people discuss after birth, if there's some sort of like regret, then moments after birth, they can make a decision. Like this is, we got to get back to the word of God, honestly, that, and it has to be reflected in our media, right? I'm all about preaching the gospel, but I'm also about creating content and movies and films that actually reflect goodness and, and good storytelling, not evil, right? Even a story about a girl who wanted an abortion, I mean, that could be an interesting story, but the way, at least the trailer, completely glorifies her decision and turns it into a big joke, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> I, <laughs> turns it into a joke. Abortion is the biggest joke, really, really. And I mean, this doesn't surprise me. There was that whole movement back back a while ago that was all about shout your abortion. Like, shout your abortion. Like, be proud of that. Because look, when we've done wrong things, we either feel shame, we either live in shame and guilt, or we, we just quench that 
and we actually turn that into an aspect of our identity. Like you see it all the time. People that, that are just doing evil things and in order to not feel guilt and shame, they take that on as their identity as if that's a good thing, but it's not. This trailer is preaching a message and its message is that abortion is funny, that abortion can be made light of, that it's no big deal, that, you know, oh, you get pregnant. Oh man, you know, hey, there's an abortion clinic across state lines. Let's have a big funny buddy comedy movie about it uh, because that would be great. And that would, uh, you know, dismantle some of the preconceptions and, about, um, you know, abortion and, Maybe it would, you know, lighten people's conscience a little bit because look, hey, these people are laughing. These people are having a good time on their way to the abortion clinic. So the fact that, oh, you're broken up inside on your way to the abortion clinic as your abusive boyfriend is bringing you there, uh, you're just kind of weird. You should be happy about it. You should be joyful about it because it is just a clump of cells. That's it. That's all it is. So just be happy about it. Invite your friend along the way. Get pedicures. Schedule something afterwards so you don't have to think about it because it's no big deal. But it is a big deal because it's a baby. It's a gift from God. You know, we're starting to see and we and for the, the ever since the fall, man, we've been seeing God's blessings as curses. <laughs> like It's true. Like, like God gives us great things like children. And we're like, I don't want that. Like what? Like what? And don't get me wrong. Like I know people in this situation. It is difficult and it's hard. And I'm not trying to minimize that. But, but, but understand where, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about just letting the baby live. Like, right? Like, isn't that where we begin? Isn't that where we, 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 like where human decency comes in? Isn't that where common grace comes in? At least at one point, we all kind of believe that murder was wrong. But look, when we're not holding to God's standard, I guess that's not true anymore. I guess that's not true anymore. Preach the gospel fight for the unborn, create movies and TV that reflects God's law and God's truth, good stories, entertaining stories, comedies, but not comedies about sin, not comedies about glorifying baby murder. That's a big yikes. Am I surprised by this? No, I'm not that surprised. I'm not that surprised about it. Look, it, people can make movies all the time about indoctrinating people to think abortion is okay. That's fine. They can continue to make their indoctrinating movies. What are we going to do? We're going to follow Christ. We're going to create our own movies that actually reflect Christ in a glorifying way. That tell better stories than whatever crap HBO Max is serving up. Let's do it. See you later, guys.